Previously on Doom 2016. Olivia has an artifact in her private lab that we've been studying for years. I believe you can use it to find the answers you seek. It bears your mark. Olivia's personal laboratory is not part of the registered facilities database. Alpha level clearance will be required to locate it. Granted. You can access her Lazarus facility from the north sector of the advanced research complex. About 80 kilometers away. I'll bring the tram power online to take you there. But you'll need a UAC corporate facilities clearance card to activate it. There is a security station nearby. Thank you. Where are you? Oh, shit, it's an army. without stopping. Oh, shit. I don't know, he was in the still state. I don't know how that happened, but I'm not playing. Advanced Research Complex. You have the location to Olivia's private offices inside the Lazarus Complex. Where the initial invasion began, you must first traverse through the Advanced Research Complex in order to gain access to the entrance of Lazarus. Utilize the tools you find along the way. A brighter tomorrow. Waiting for the plumber guy to finish right now. Trying to maybe finish the beast. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully he fixes your shit. It's time we meet in person. My office is on the second floor of this facility. And it turns out our new neighbors already have a dog. What a fucking surprise, right? I was telling Crystal that earlier. All right, let's see. What kind of challenges do we have today? So, bottle opener. Perform five screw top glory kills on the possessed. Attack lower right leg or head from behind. Attack lower right leg or head from behind, okay. Uh, double take, interact with two rune trials. Hide and seek, find two collectibles. All right, sounds easy enough for the most part, but I've missed, I think, one rune trial in our first encounter in hell, but it is what it is. And we don't have any Praetor suit or weapon points to spend at the moment. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so Crystal was saying, man, if they try and complain about our fucking cats, I like how she said, hold on. Oh, no, it's just the stupid USA spoke. I like how Crystal said, man, if they have the nerve to complain about my cats, ain't that some bullshit. Anyways, <laughs> so she's like, I'm like, well, why the fuck do our brand new neighbors have a fucking dog? And they just got here. All right, let's see. Is there anything? Probably not. Nothing unique hiding and i doubt can we go on the other side i highly doubt there's anything over here well i mean in a way it probably i mean 
assuming how attached these little fuckers are to each other, I probably wouldn't be right to fucking just up and just take Frieza if I were to ever leave anyway. So I'd probably let him stay with Mr. Ghost anyways. Ow. Oh, shit. Either I had no armor or I was just that low on health because I'm already... That fucking one shot fucking took me down to 40% health. Oh, really? You can't even... Okay. I guess they decided not to show what the Doom guy looks like. Anything hidden in here? No. <laughs> oh, because um, Ace and Zack are uh, attached to each other. Alright, so there's a bunch of zombies just chilling in there. In the next room, that's probably where I need to get going to. Or have to go into, I should say. Ah, shit, wrong fucking button. Didn't want to fucking do that. God damn it. Okay, never mind. Ow! Alright, so much for trying to do the screw top type thing, but then again, that's what I get for also jumping in the middle with a bunch of zombies. What does it all say? Target the lower right legs. I'll just do that instead. Oh. All right. Oh, what the hell? Wait a minute, what kind of bullshit is that? I had more health than that before this checkpoint. They're gonna start me with only 40% health? Fuck that shit. And technically this motherfucker shouldn't even be here. He should be dead. Well, that was a goddamn fucking ripoff, man. Start me off at a checkpoint with... Okay. Start me off with a checkpoint with 40% health, and then there's still a man cubis? That's some bullshit. Alright, so that's the house in here. Yeah, might as well switch to the plasma. There we go. Ow. God damn it. Push the wrong button again. Up. Oh, missed that one up. Missed that one up again. All right. So apparently you have to be directly behind them, which is stupid instead of just off to the side of them. Alright, so what shall we upgrade this time? Alright, so we got almost full health, so let's go with ammo next. And then armor next, and then we'll max out everything in the last bits after that. Did that just release more zombies? More lombie zombies! Ow! There we go. Got the bottle opener one. Sweep the leg on that song bitch. Break his arm. Punch him in the face. Punch him in his rib cage. 
Yeah, we'll save that health station in case if I have to do any backtracking, but I don't think we probably have to. I got the down here except for just extra ammo. Alright, anything come up. Aha! So there was a Praetor Suit token I missed. So let me see, is there a way into this room somehow? Ah, uh, looks like there's a way that I have to drop in. So let me see, is there something I'm supposed to jump up to? Let's see. Is there anything I can jump up on? That I might have. Okay, so either we drop down from there or never mind. We just jump. Oops. Alright. Let's get our Pater Suit token. No, we don't need no gas. E Secret found. Well, if it sounds like it's coming from outside Crystal, it's Zach. If it sounds like it's more indoors-like, then it's probably the neighbor's dog. Get the auto map. Get out of here. Environments. Advanced Research Complex. Data Entry 1 or 2. Construction of the Advanced Research Complex was completed in MTC 2136. This vast state-of-the-art research for design and production at the uses cutting-edge technology and fabrication techniques to prototype everything from robotics to weaponry to subspace communication systems. The building security, life support, and day-to-day -day operations are almost entirely managed by Vega, the Argent Facility's in-house architectural intelligence mainframe. Due to the highly sensitive nature of the research being conducted at the ARC, the entire superstructure is essentially a Faraday cage to prevent any unauthorized communications beyond its walls. I might have to turn that on and back on because the AC just stopped working again. The AUK is the birthplace of several breakthrough study fields, including BFG development, teleportation research, and cybernetic augmentation. This bastion of advanced thought attracts the brightest minds in the scientific community and is considered humanity's brain trust. All right, let's go up here. All right, so there's a codex over there. Oh, bitch. Oh, never mind. That got his ass. Shove him to the ground and step on... Oh, shit. Ah, uh, shit. What button did I put again for the... Oh, shit. Damn it! There we go, that's right. It's just that I changed the um, equipment, but I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Enough applicants and our faith is nothing without believers. We cannot conduct our work without them. And what kind of work is it that you're doing, Olivia? I haven't seen a report from your team in months now, have I? Can I trust that you can maintain your distance and control of the situation? Of course. I believe in our work, but in order to make progress, we will have to make even greater sacrifices. This isn't progress, it's madness. The board understands the peculiar nature of your work, and no one is in the dark on what those sacrifices mean to mankind. But your judgment is no longer considered sound. <clears throat> Yeah. Fuck that bitch. A tier 3 manifest, the coded entry 2 of 2. 
Welcome to Tier 3 Advocates, so you have elevated yourself to the next level of thinking. Your previous notions have been cleansed by science, and you see things now as they truly are. The true power of Argent Energy, under the stewardship of the USC, will drive us into the next age of mankind. No more secrets, no more hiding. Your journey towards the final tier begins now. Our understanding of Pandan's the dimensional existence grows each day. As we begin to realize the true power that flows from hell, we are changed into something much greater than we ever thought possible. Your life as a tier 3 advocate is more than just the work you perform. Spiritual understanding of who we are and what we are meant to become grows with each artifact you catalog. Each weapon you prototype and each heretic you convert, the fear of hell is seen for what it really is, false emotions appearing real. You have opened your mind. Heh, <laughs> they're gonna snake your tub. Anything coming up? Okay, don't know why I didn't get the other one. Alright, so this is going to be an arena battle, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I hear a gore nest, so yeah, it's going to definitely be an arena battle. But let's see what's around here real quick. To, uh... Alright, so there's a berserk, so that'll be good. To start just tearing through zombies, but I'll wait until some more... Or demons in general, but I'll just wait until some heavier demons show up before I make a break for that. And I'm assuming this door, well, we'll go back to that in a second. I'm assuming that door that I need to go to is probably closed off until the demonic possession is cleansed. Yep, of course. Alright. Any more armor pickups for me there? Alrighty, let's go ahead. Oh wait, hold on, did I see some? Yep. And there's some fuel. Oh shit! Blow, what the heck, get blown to hell, bitches! Alright, here we go. Oh shit. There's already a fat fuck in the vicinity. Alright, so we will... Not sure... I forgot if this is like Doom Eternal where the next wave comes once you kill like the, the heavier enemies or if it's after so many of even like these weaker ones because I think because uh, I forgot if after a while if the if, like the imps and the soldiers just become fodder which I think that's probably what it is because nothing has happened so let's go ahead and light fat fuck up all right who else is gonna spawn because I know there's gonna be more another fat ass Come on. There's got to be more demons coming. Oh, shit. All right, you know what? Enough of this. Come here, bitch. Oh, what the hell? Punk-ass motherfucker. Get, get punched, bitch. Get your face ripped open. Come on. Who else wants some? Who else wants some? There's another Hell Knight. What the hell? There we go. Alright, let me take this fucker out. This riled shield fuck real quick. Alright, who else is left?
Alright, what? Hurting me? Oh, what are you? You whore. Who is a whore, by the way? Did I get her? I hope I did. I heard her screaming in pain. Agonizing, tantalizing pain. Shit. I saw you in half there, buddy. Oh, okay. I, w I thought he was doing like a little animation where he was about to dive. I wasn't too sure. All right, who else left? Oh, okay. You the last one, or is there another one, you asshole? Nope, that's everyone. Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown. Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. Alright, let's see if we can uh, sweep up some ammo real quick. Don't need no shells. This is one of those times when... When having the dash ability would be nice, so you could just zip, 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 zip. Tether activation. The system update. It is a prototype of our interdimensional tether, a means for me to pull you back from hell. I'm sorry for <clears> the <throat> jolt, but I didn't think you'd allow its installation voluntarily. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I have supplies in my office. This way, please. This motherfucker has to easily be like... 10 to 13 feet tall, because he even towers over the Doom Slayer. He's probably about the same height as the Barons of Hell. Welcome. Take whatever supplies you need. Take whatever supplies you need. Yep. There's the Doom Slayer with the Night Sentinels. Oh, there's some armor. Oh, okay, so we are going to so go outside because the there's some armor out there. Is devastating, but I am committed to helping you close the portal. All of our work and understanding of their world is derived from the inscriptions on a large stone artifact we pulled from hell in the earliest days of the program. We call it the Helix Stone. It is our most closely guarded asset. Olivia was obsessed with it. From it, we learned how to manipulate hell's energy, bend it to our will, take advantage of their resources, it also led us to you. The Helix Stone showed us how to harness the power of the well. I believe it will show you how to shut it down. For years, Olivia has kept the Helix in her private office in the Lazarus Labs, which is only accessible through a secure elevator from the advanced research complex across the chasm. Mm. Your affinity for guns is apparent. I'm confident you'll find something useful there as well. The service elevator is at the end of the hall. Alright, well, thank you for that little bit of enlightenment, Dr. Hayton. I wonder if my air conditioner is got has some condensation that I have to dump out. Since I've had it for a while and never really set it up to where it could be dumped so i know if i remember from what the manual says for these particular ones like when the condensation gets to a certain level you have to uh dump it but that or maybe it just doesn't think that my room is cool enough to start cooling i don't know even though it is starting to get a little fucking heated in here because this super hot super heated computer i should say
Samuel Hayden, the code entry 3. That's the only problem with fucking Razer products. They just randomly disconnect for no fucking reason. Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted. After his rebirth, Samuel was appointed as project director of the Argent facility. It was deemed too bizarre to have the world's first cyborg leading the most powerful corporation in the solar system. <sighs> Mechanoid Samuel Hayden proved to be an even more impressive figure than this mortal, his mortal self. Under his leadership, Argent technology exploded. The work achieved at the Argent facility destroyed the boundaries of our understanding of physics. As Samuel himself said, we rewrote the book and called it Argent. After unveiling of the global energy distribution matrix, it was clear who was really in control of the UAC. Samuel Hayden's triumphant return to power was complete. In a stunning display of bravado and conceit when the GEDM was finally switched on Samuel Hayden was live streamed from in front of the Argent Tower, pulling a massive 12 foot power level to dispatch the first Argent package to Earth. This sent a clear message to the people of the known solar system, there is only one man that can turn on the power. I've got the power! Alright. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we got... Uh, uh, fucking token coming, Praetor suit token, and a rune trial. All right. So we're good on the fuel. Are we coming up on another arena battle, or is it just one of those areas that I just gotta walk through? Up oh, there's that. Thank you, kind sir. I know you're not gonna be needing it. Where you are, that is. I almost left that part out. Alright, let's go to the map real quick. So, the rune trial. Alright, so I'm assuming... Okay, there's a door on the other side. So, okay, so I don't think I have to drop in or climb up anywhere that I can see. Or just from, just from first glance, that is. Yeah. I forgot what these guys are, but basically they're just cue balls. Except these cue balls actually attack your ass. Unlike the other cue balls that just sit there and just explode. Alright, so the rune trial is going to be... Okay, in the next area. All right, so another arena battle. All right, so. Oh, there's another Argent Energy in that same room too. So I'm wondering if I have to climb up somewhere or if the entrance, or if the entrance is back over here somewhere. Let's take another quick glance real quick. Before we move forward. But I'm pretty sure there's probably something outside that I have to go through because it doesn't look like there's anywhere for me to traverse or go through. Nope. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There's like pallets here, but it doesn't look like there's anywhere for me to climb into. So it's gotta be... Either I drop down from in there somewhere, or maybe that unlocks after I'm done cleaning out this area of the demonic possession. Let's see. Because I know sometimes certain things have to be accomplished first before other areas become available. Alright, so before we activate this,
All right, he exploded it. Actually, hold on. Where? How am I on my runes? Let's see. So this one's ammo boost. BFG ammo has a chance. Well, obviously we don't have a BFG right now, so that's not gonna really mean dick. Seek and destroy. Increase this is uh, initiated. All right. So the armor one. That one is a definite that we have to build up. What's uh upgraded? So. Not interested in ammo boost at the moment. So what's this one? Armored, that's the one I'm working on. In-flight mobility provides a significant increase in control over in-air movement after a double jump. Kill 30 demons, applies air, kill 30 demons while in, okay, so I have to kill them while I'm in air or I need to kill them while they're in mid-air. But anyway, let's go ahead and attach that for right now. So we can start building those up. And then what about weapon wise? That's completed. That's completed. Uh, let me see. Fire twice with super. Uh, kill multiple teams. Okay, so I still need to do that one. That one's completed. This one. Oops. Kill four or more demons during a single mobile turret deploy fight. Okay, so that's an easy one. I just need to get a bunch of um, lightweight demons together. So that's not, that's not, that one's done. Okay, so just the super shotgun and the chain gun for right now. And anything on the map nearby besides that power up? No. So let's go ahead and... Okay, I guess I have to wait for the lockdown, obviously, to go away. All right, anything else? Nope. All right, fuck it. Let the combat begin. All right, so the quick lock is still a tad bit slow. Well, Badass. Okay, so they might it went away. Kinda do like the micro missiles. Of course the micro missiles do take a lot out of your inventory though. Is it just you? I'll take that as a C, senor. Nope, never mind. I guess fat boys are not done yet. Oh, is that the Cyberman key by now? Yep. I think this is our first encounter with these fuckers. I think that's our first encounter with those fat fucks, or have we fought them already? Alright, so that's still locked up. Aha, so that does open up. So I already... Whatever. I mean, I still have the... Or I guess it just makes it better or something. Because I could still... Somewhat move a little bit. Well... I mean, you could somewhat move pretty good. But... Oh, yeah? What's Mr. Freezy Pop doing this time, Crystal? Alright, so... There's... I thought I... Thought there was Argent energy around. Or, oh, it's further. It's down below. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this rune trial is about. Rune trial. Armed with a heavy assault rifle. Eliminate all targets before the timer expires. Movement is only permitted for three seconds following any kill. 
Blood Field. Move faster for a short time after performing a glory kill. Okay, so this is one of those ones where you can move for a little bit, but then you stop after the, after three seconds. Knocking shit off the counter and kept punch jumping on the table, trying to get to the meatballs. Oh, I told you, whenever he's bad, punch him. I don't literally mean that, Twitch. It's just a joke. Or step on his neck. It's, again, it's a joke there, Twitch. Calm down. We don't abuse any of our pets, our animals here. Apparently, they abuse us by breaking all our shit and pissing us off. All right, here we go. Okay, so it looks like we're fighting some zombies. Up, oh, I'm locked. I can't. Where are the zombies at? Hello. Who's shooting at me? Oh shit. I fell down, but I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Oh shit. Don't kill me! And he killed me. There we go. Fucking ass fuck. Alright. Are you on your way home from work now, or did you just get home? Alright, so that rune trial has been completed. I'm alright, just trying to get a decent stream in. So, I'm assuming it's probably down over in that. Yep. Secret it found. Alright, so now we can level up our armor so everything's on the same, same level. Before everything finally gets maxed out. Why is she getting a car? What, are they keeping your truck for a while or something? Alright, let's see. So there's a bot down below. So I'm assuming there's another island I'm supposed to jump over to. I think, let's see. Oh, shit! I just heard the screaming at the last minute or second. All right, let's see. So it's got to be... Oh, asshole. Where the fuck did you come from? I didn't even see you unless you just randomly just spawn. All right, so I'm assuming I probably have to go in there then. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Alright, yeah, I think. Yep, there's the bot, so I gotta find it somehow. Unless. Okay, so maybe I'm supposed to go up top somewhere and then looks like I can drop in. Or did I fuck that up somehow? No, I don't think so. I wouldn't be surprised if I fucked that up already. Oh. Well, that's good. Good. Put your niece to use and make her drive you around everywhere for a change. Oh shit, I think I'm going backwards. Uh, hmm. There's one 
dead poor one poor bastard right there. Anything behind that door? Oh wait. So that's nothing. I wonder if this is where we might I wonder if this is where we get the BFG for the first the uh get the BFG. I would say for can't say for the first time because you only get it fucking once. And other than that, you just have to get ammo for it. Alright, go over here. So this basically just took me Oh no it doesn't, so let me go ahead and turn this here fan off. We don't need that shit on. Alright, now... Uh, should be... Yep, there it is. Secret found. Alright, so... Gatling wrote... Don't need that one. That one's just... Not really... This has no purpose, in my opinion, at the moment. Re nope. Remote detonate... I really don't give a shit about. So let's go ahead with Precision Bolt. <laughs> All right, let's go back to like the siege mode. Ah, shit. Alright, back up. Now, will this take us to the same... Ah! Well, I'm not sure it will take us to the same area, but it looks like there's a toy above us. Or a collectible, whatever you want to call it. Oh, looks like it does take us to the same area, so... Let me see... It looks like we might have to. Okay. So we're gonna have to go. We have to go that way. But before we go. That. Or I guess we might have to have. We have no choice to go that way. Let's see. Let's armor. Okay, so I guess there was nothing significant about that. Alright, so these toys, they must be on the outside somewhere then. Alright, so let's go through here, where we're supposed to go. Secret found. Wasn't sure if that was technically considered a secret since it was an lock lock door, but I will take the secret. Alright. So we got the prayer suit, there's a health station. So I'm guessing. Huh. I'm guessing I have to go back outside for that toy. So, I hate to do this, but before I get too far into it, let's go ahead and backtrack real quick, if we're able to. So we came from this side, I believe. I think it was this side. Yeah, it should be... Ah, uh, nope, I think... Okay, yeah, I think I might have... I think I might have screwed myself out of that collectible, so... I'm not going to try and waste too much time trying to figure it way back. Unless there's like a teleport or something that we encounter at a later time. But I highly doubt it.
Alright, so we probably might not make this that challenge for finding the two collectibles in this run. Alright, here we go. Outside we go. Alright, where's the other one? I thought there was one more of you fucking stuff. I'll not ever get about that. Punk ass bitch. Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. Wasn't much of a demonic presence. Alright, is there anything in here we need? Like a collectible or something? BFG, right there. Alright, before I pick up his hand or his dead body, is there anything else around here? There's a codex in the next room over. Heh! <laughs> Corpse, upper torso acquired. That put him with the codex? Yes, it is. Get punching your gut. Oh, killed one. Don't know why I didn't uh, kill him. Alright, that should be it for those fuckers. Wow, they just skip straight to the Oh, because there's only one probably. Or wait. Field drone? Really? There's there's actually uh, there's there was actually attachments or add-ons for the BFG? I don't remember that. Whatever. Decoded entry three of three. Advocates, witness the BFG 9000. With a greater triumph for the glory of the Ascension, could there be then an entirely new type of weapon? Born not only of traditional UAC technology, but by your faith and dedication to the cause. This is what we strive for, an understanding beyond traditional science. Unrestrained by the repressive thinking of dimensionally bound a contemplation, only through our use of Seft can the power of such a mighty weapon be realized. Such a weapon requires not only science, but belief. While access to the BFG-9000 is strictly limited to the Tier 3 advocates, you are encouraged to envision the day you too might get to see the magnificence of its design, and if you are luckier still, experience the invigor invigorating touch of its majestic form of Argent Energy. Alright, Gauss Cannon. So, I believe it's uh, this one. Precision Bolt. Precision bolt, a standard telescopic sight, can be placed on the gauze cannon, allowing for even greater accuracy at long ranges with this precision weapon while using the scope. The operator can accumulate additional magnetic charge within the launch chamber, which then releases will fire the fletchets at an even greater speed. When fully charged, a launch fletchet <coughs> is almost unstoppable and will pass through multiple targets. Well, that's uh, good to know. <clears throat> uh, nope, I did not see it, but then again, I probably I choose not to see it because isn't it supposed to be a musical? Probably a shitty one at that. Let's see who's ah, yeah, there we go. Cyberman QI, the Dakota entry one of three. The mad chemist strain of demon has long been a subject of fascination among Lazarus Project scientists. Eager to understand the biology of these creatures, a team of biogeneticists geneticists, led by Dr. Pierce herself was formed to research to manipulate the behavior and effect of the creatures. Alright, so what's this? Alright, and the room... 
things, so we still got to do the kill demons while in midair. Armor effective, so that one. Still confused about the killing in midair crap. I'm not sure if they mean if I have to be in midair or if the demons have to be in mid. I'm assuming maybe I just have to be in midair when they die. All right, so now we can. Oh wait, hold on. Are we supposed to? No, we don't. But I believe before we go there, I something. Something might have caught my attention, but maybe not. All right, now let me see. Is there a way? Ah, maybe I. No, wait, I did. Okay, so that's the other toy is still over there. So this is a different toy. So let's see. So the other toy, I probably just permanently fucked myself out of for this run. Or actually, where's this taking me to? Oh, does it take me to a codex that I must have somehow missed? Oops. Hm, not sure how I missed this one. Oh. Well, depending on what you're into, if you only need the top half to make yourself happy, go ahead and feel free and do what you will with it. All right. Decoded entry two of three. The theoretical design of the BFT-9000 was first put forward by the r and department in the Advanced Research Complex, and the concept was later given its own funding program. The BFG division was formed to develop a working design. Several prototypes of weapons have since been made. The prototypes never went into full production due to numerous testing accidents and the deadly radiation spikes produced. Previous versions of the weapon had slightly different energy patterns to the current generation. Some released solitarily argent spheres that unleash a deadly wave upon impact. Others formed an argent laser that cuts through anything in its path. The current prototype, the BFG-9000, creates argent swims that seek out targets and boils them alive. Alright, so they're cooking. <laughs> While the giant big green ball is in motion. Alright. <clears throat> All right, now we gotta go over. So we I think we already explored this interior area. I like how we, you know, for someone who's supposed to give a shit about mankind, I think it's funny how he just slams that poor bastard's. Uh oh, I just like how he's. Wait. Oh shit, hold on. I like how he just fucking slammed his fucking face into the uh the eye the retina scanner. Activating laser security system. I believe I'm supposed to be fine here, right? Yeah, I should be fine here. Oh, wait, hold on. That's right. I'm supposed to shoot those things, huh? Right? Or... Yeah, that's right. Or, okay. I thought you had to shoot them all down. <clears throat> uh, 
Hello, old friend. I missed you. Alright, now I believe, is it this button? Or no, it's C. Okay, that's right. I have it tapped tied to C. Alright, so now we have the third decoded entry. A BFG 9000 decoded entry 1 of 3. When correctly charged, ionized and compressed, deadly packets of argent energy can be released in a controlled manner at the velocity and potential energy quota for exceeding conventional weapons. The weaponization of argent energy led to the development and mass production of the plasma rifle, but the UAC realized they are capable of much more. The BFG 9000 is the culmin culmination of those efforts. Only one prototype of the final weapon exists, and it is housed deep within the arc in the BFG division. This weapon delivers streams of, of supercharged ardent energy to multiple targets, and is to some extent self-guiding. The streams will seek and cache any cache of argent it can find, usually demons or human test subjects that have had ardent deacons surgically implanted. When the streams find that target, they release all of their stored energy in a fraction of a second, delivering an electrical shock that instantly boils the blood and fatty tissue of the recipient. Spontaneous explosion of the subject often follows. Nice. They explode. And I believe there's nothing else hidden in this chamber. Another rune challenge, which would be... Over here. I almost wasted a perfectly good BFG shot by saying, eh, you know what? There's barrels around. That was cool, just seeing all the barrels just floating in this nice little circle. Alright, so before we go there. Is one of these doors supposed to open up? Or am I supposed to hop in there somehow? Guessing there's a way that I'm supposed to hop in. Or maybe it unlocks after I open this. We'll see. It's a madhouse! A madhouse! Damn, girl, we run off too. Hold up! <laughs> Ah, here we go. Alright, let's see what this rune trial is about. Alright. In intimacy is best. Demons become more glory kill friendly due to a high damage resistance when staggered. More... Glory. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing it's more like a dazed and confused. Or, no, don't I have something like dazed and confused? Use the pistol to weaken and then glory kill eight imps before the timer expires. So this should be an easy one. You're just pistolizing fucking imps. Hmm, pistola. At least, actually, never mind. Now they're increasing the amount of imps. Die! One more, right? Nope. Oh shit, I got three more. Fuck, 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 fuck. Hey, it still counts when you melee them, so that's all that matters. Not really, Mary, but I'm not gonna turn down some ab abadingus that uh, Patrick is making today. <sighs> of course, you're hungry, Crystal. All right. Probably purposely starved yourself so you could eat plenty of soup. All right. So let's see. 
let's see which rune because this one i still don't know about but in flight mobility i'm not too worried about so let's try something different int do i have seek and destroy oh yeah no seek and destroy is just a launch to a glory kill so this one probably keeps them in a staggered state a lot longer i'm assuming that's what it probably means blood fuel move faster for a short time kill 50 demons during the speed boost okay so i gotta kill demons while i'm doing the speed boost i'm still working on that one so let's do the uh demon uh demons become demons stagger off left stagger okay so this one i just gotta stagger 100 demons so that's easy let's see yep so it's easier to stagger enemies versus that other one i'm assuming they mean they want me to be up in the air while i'm killing the demons before to actually take credit for it Oh shit, it's Pinky Galore! Oh shit, he went around his ass! Give me that tooth, bitch! Get stabbed in your fucking eyeball! I forget, keep forgetting about this requirement too. Alright, ten more for this one. Oh, you know what? Is this the, the area that I'm thinking of where I think this is the area? No, I don't know. Is this the area I'm thinking of where the uh, barons appear? No, I, no, I don't think it's this area because there's no area for them to jump. I think it's, uh, I'll say there's a similar. Oh, you know what? This might be the area that I'm thinking of that when I first played this. It took me hella long just to fucking finish. And then... When these two barons showed up, I remember I trapped. What well, I wouldn't say I trapped myself, but I didn't know what the fuck did, what the fuck I knew. And then they killed me, and then it took me hella attempts again, just to get to the uh, the baron fight part of this fight to finally uh, end it. And I just said fucking just blew them blew them up with the fucking direct shots of the BFG. All right, so there's quad damage, so we'll save that for when the barons show up. And. Yeah, I believe this is the end of this level. So, yeah, I fucked myself out of that toy. So, I'll have to go back and get that at a later time. Alright, let's see. What, do we need anything ammo-wise real quick? And there's a portal, which probably takes us somewhere. That's BFG ammo. Alright, so plenty of BFG ammo to start off with, so we can at least waste two per- We could waste- we could throw away two shots just for the hell of it. Armor up. Oh, there's more- okay, never mind, there's more, so we could waste plenty of shots. I forgot if the bolts can go through the walls. I don't think so. Yeah, so that's locked because of the demonic presence. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's go with the chain gun. Alright, come on buddy. So far, I know they're starting at light with the uh, Ravenants, but pretty soon the the heavy, the super heavies are gonna start making an appearance. Come on! Well, that was dumb. Jumping into a wall like that. I might have to do oh shit the bed 
I have to do a little weapon. No, it's too early to it's too early to uh, use this, so we'll uh save. Blue is ass to hell. Alright. The first bitch shows up. Ow, that was dumb. Alright, so the music intensified, which means shit's about to Oh sh Alright, so apparently that didn't do shit to that whore. So maybe it wouldn't be a good idea to waste the BFG shot. Until I'm in a more, I would say, open-like area. Alright, so let's go up here real quick. Oh shit! It's the floating heads! The dry ball punched out. Oh shit! And of course. I right, got. Uh, not sure if this is a waste, but fuck it. Oh, really? I thought there was more to this. I could have sworn this was. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's another area I'm thinking. Of. I could have sworn it was this area that had the Baron that show up. Oh well, whatever. <clears throat> Aha! I knew. Uh, so it was this level, I think. Yep, they're like, Psych, you ain't done yet, motherfucker! Bring your big asses up here! Punk ass bitch! Got him! Alright, who's left? Okay, so I wasn't wrong. It's just that I thought they showed up as the last contenders while the uh, fight was still going on, not when you... Um... Shit, did I just fuck myself out of the other BFG ammos because of this shield? I probably did... Yep. Oh, well. Yeah, yep. There it is right there. Son of a biatch. Oh, hold on. Let me see something. Yeah, I did. Whatever. Oh, well, fuck it. I got two out of three, so that's good enough. Next time on Doom 2016. Who's left? Uh, I heard a lost soul. Eat it, you fat fuck. It's a floating head. Suck it, you ball of head! Okay, so that got him. 